my wallet, it hurts. <laughs> oh, you don't have enough padding on your butt? Is that what you said? <laughs> nice. Welcome back to Black Acre Ranch, guys. It's another day, and uh, it's a really actual nice day. So it's difficult for us to want to, or at least me, to do anything just because it's nice, especially in the sun, to sit there and relax. But we got to make some progress. Um, kind of just some status reports. We are actually got like an inch of rain this week, and since we have both sides of the pavilion um, going, we collected, I think, another 3,800 gallons of rain. Or, or, gallons of water anyway which means we've exceeded our 10,000 gallon capacity and we are full we're all full so as you can see the pipe is the, we have that cross member pipe um, and when you look at it down the line you notice it's bending and it's bending back towards the tanks I don't get that I don't know why it's doing that but it's full of water and we need to support it. So some projects that we're doing today, as much as I'd like to sit around and sunbathe in 50 degree weather, which is ideal, <laughs> um, is we've got to build a support stand to hold up that center pipe. Then we've also got to do some little insulation because it's going to freeze this next week a little bit and we don't want that water freezing. Um, and then all the other things are just kind of general routine maintenance stuff. We have a mulcher guy coming hopefully Saturday next week and we'll let him tear things up so we'll be going through the pasture area back behind us and marking trees or kind of figuring out what we do and don't want to keep but um, so yeah general maintenance so stick around with us we're gonna start with this support stand bridge something yeah, yeah. we're gonna take care of the bridge between the two tanks today yeah. so from insulation and building the support so that's the project yeah as a side note, I want to make sure that everybody understands that we're just building what we're building out of the scraps that we have on hand. And this isn't uh, a fully thought out design in every way possible. Um, so we're just using junk that we got. So have a little mercy, be a little patient, and uh, it, there's a good chance it won't work. But <laughs> we're going to give it a shot and see what we can come up with in Jimmy Rig. This is how we keep it affordable, is to use what you already have. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right, let's get going. My, <laughs> my tape's not... Uh-huh, need some help with your tape? It's buried a couple inches, but it's 11 to the middle. Yeah. 11 feet. These are two by... Two. Eights? Yeah, these are two by eights that we got from the stage when we did the demo. They're pretty husky and sturdy, but we got these nails and we're just gonna trim these off on the sides, put it to length, and then the idea is we're gonna make some braces and go from there. So right now it's just doing a bunch of trimming. It was 11 up to the top. We're gonna bury it in a couple inches so I'm going to go 11 feet 3. We have a one and a half inch cross piece for the pipe. So this two by is one and a half inch thick. We're going to put two by fours either side, just squish it in. Um, two by fours to squish it in? Yeah, it's just going to bind it. So my wife told me she has no idea what we're doing. So we talked about it and he's telling you and I'm like, I don't, I don't know what that means. That doesn't sound like what we talked about. So I need him to re-explain this so, so I know what we're doing and you know what we're doing and we're all on the same page. So I was going to put the... <laughs> challenge accepted or challenge right. So the two by eight is going to be one long post that goes up and it's a one and a half inch thick. So I was going to put the two by fours on the sides, outsides of it, so the pipe went down below. So I'm making a Y. Okay, I see now. Go ahead. And if the, when it's in the ground, we're then going to use the other two by eight to put 
some stability to it. Okay, so my question, when you make the top of this Y, and you still haven't insulated that pipe yet, sorry, <laughs> and you still haven't insulated the top of the pipe, it's not gonna fit between the top section. It'll get, it'll, it'll skinny down, we're gonna snuggie up. What if, like, I guess it wouldn't work really well to put a 2x4 and then the little 2x4s under the top of the Y to make it more of a squarish Y field goal post for it to rest in. You want to fatten it out? I was just thinking we it would be fatter than that. If, if it, We can totally do it your way and if it doesn't work out we could like change it. So now, okay, so this is the insulation we're using. And so I think Charlotte, if you're mentioning, this is only like a 3 8 inch thick wall tube. Um, and this is a two inch, so they say this works for two inch copper. The copper sizing is what it's giving, but is one size larger than PVC because PVC has a thicker sidewall. So a two inch copper does not work two inch PVC. So Charlotte, are you saying that it's going to squish too much? Right, that's what I'm concerned about. Yeah, I mean, it'll, it'll be a little snug, but this is really squishy. All right. I mean, so, again, it might work just fine. So I just, I want to understand what we're doing. And I guess I didn't understand before because my brain did something different with what we're doing. Well, we can always unscrew it and put it all back together. That's right. We're learning together. All right. Let's see. There's one. It's almost dead. <laughs> I'm like, time charge the batteries. Okay, time to screw! Now that we have the bases set, we're gonna screw these guys on with some deck screws exterior. And if you see from this, we're just gonna be sandwiching out, making a little channel, and this is where everything's gonna go. This will be supporting, we wanted a longer base to try and support the pipe, so this is just to hold it from side to side. Who in the world freaking uses flathead and Phillips anymore? Wow! Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is the first time I've ever actually drilled screws with this. Wow. Wow. Hey Mimi, what do you think I think of it? Uh, I think you like it, baby. Wow. That is crazy. Here, you try one. It's like butter, man. It takes a little bit to get going. Do you want to just right here? Sure. There we go. Wow. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done that before that easy. I know, that sucker went in like I was butter. like, oh, I'm like way down. I should stop now. <laughs> yeah, it was recessed. All right, that's awesome. So there you can see it. Little pipey. Hopefully it fits. <laughs> uh huh. Cause that's pretty narrow, dude. That was my concern. That is a snug girl. Mhm. Mm Interesting how your wife was concerned about that. One and a half pipe. It's one and a half. Yeah, you're not gonna fit that stupid squishy stuff in there, too, though. Yeah. Uh huh. Just reminds me how bad this was to shovel it. Oh yeah. Alright, so that didn't work. The pipe is actually pretty big, so um, sometimes things are just thicker than you thought. My idea is pretty good. Alright, yeah. so I think what I'm going to do at this point is trim off the top of the 2x4s, 
So it leaves just a little bit above the post and that's just gonna be kind of like that little cradle and then put a metal strap over the top and secure it down so it can't lift up and off. So we're brilliant. We adapt. Using the tools we already have too. Lift it up and over. Hold on the bottom. Need it up. Whoa, that was aggressive. Got it. pretty stout it's set it's not pretty but these guys went on pretty well um, we screwed it in here at the bottom middle we screwed these both in up top and they're just braced in the dirt so hopefully they they stay pretty well I'm not so worried about this guy being in this rock stuff but uh, this one might slip a little bit over time but we'll have to check that one but otherwise I think it looks good so now we're just gonna finish it up with some insulation and uh, we're gonna bend it up the T as well, but we're not going to go wrap the top. So let's see how this goes. It's kind of weak, pretty flabby. Yeah. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time, it's clear to see From up here, the world seems small We can sit together Okay, so here we are up at the connection point. So here's the tank, it comes out and bumps and goes to get ready for the overflow. So this whole piece is one, and then this is one, and in here is one. So the hardest part is really trying to seam everything with the duct tape, making sure there's no holes for the water to just leak on in. I think I did a good job. And as we look back towards the other tank, you can see our cross piece and our strappy. So it's an old cradle, it's all strapped down, looks pretty good. Okay. Next up is the two inch lower sections. And let's be honest, if we were doing the same stuff, we would actually use that same pipe. But uh, they didn't have anything bigger than two inch. And that's two inch pipe. So we've got this pipe wrapped insulation. And we're going to just actually wrap the main section around the shutoff valves and not too much into the coupling because the coupling right now, it may have some water, um, but probably not a lot because I did try and drain it last time. We already had one freeze last week. It wasn't a super hard freeze and it was pretty quick. It only got down to 28 for maybe five hours or so, but not, not too bad. Anyway, <clears throat> we still need to be able to unwrap the coupling because we still have other things to do on this. Um, and so we might need to be able to take on and off. So we've closed both of those valves down there. So we're just going to really go up to that and tape it with the duct tape and seal her shut. So let's put a little blanky, see how she does. this wraps 
stuff up. It's supposed to be an inch thick. I mean, we've compressed it some. There is some exposed fiberglass, and I know it's gonna get wet, and this probably isn't the most long-term solution, but we've left the ball open um, just so we can still rotate it, but this shouldn't have really water in it, only here and here, but anyway, I, I understand thermal dynamics, right? So I'm not too worried about it. I'm not gonna sweat it. It's not gonna get zero degrees. But I still feel a little water, and sometimes I'm actually regretting having this coupling. I still feel like it drips or weeps a lot right here. But anyway, we bent it around. This stuff down here, we're going to try and bury at some point. Um, let's get the other one done. But I think we got our installation done. Wrapped her up. Um, again, this is not a permanent solution. Um, I get that duct tape only lasts 20 years or more. Um, just kidding, but. So this is just temporary until we kind of get some other things done, but we might try and uh, put some more dirt over some of these others and move on to the next one. You got your old pine tree friend? Yep. Trying to save these if we can. Those are our other friends. And these next two guys too. Goodness, what is this? I don't know. It's a funky, big, Looks weird like it's tree. The same kind of stuff as the other guys. Looks like the same kind of bark. Yeah, the bark really looks similar. Gosh, these trees are tall. Yeah, Holy they are. Cow. They go way up there. And this dude right here. So we're really trying to help weed out these sweet gum trees. So this is like the bark of a sweet gum. And their leaves. Actually, is this a sweet gum? I think so. It's got the five point, I think. They look similar to an oak, but we feel like it's a sweet gum. All right, so the reason we hate sweet gum, there you go, is the seed packet. Ah! <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Creates this little pokey ball. And these get really pokey. Yeah, they are. That's why and we now they, call them pokey ball. They're starting to soften up, but man, at, at some points during the year, they just turn nasty. They are hard little suckers. And we don't want that in our bison fur. Right. And we also don't want more of these trees. So we want, we don't want to encourage it to keep growing more. So it's, it's really hard. Our mulcher guy who's coming does know what sweet gum are, but sometimes the, like this is a pretty big tree. Yeah. And there's another one right here. And he's a pretty big tree too. Yeah. So we're we're in where we have already cut down our stuff and created our property line boundaries. So we're just kind of inspecting what big trees we want to keep as he starts cleaning this stuff out. So, I mean, you can kind of see over there some of our stumping. So we're just kind of in the little forest in that area. This depression here has a bank around it, and there's a bunch of cedars, and I wanna make sure there's enough tree shade. So I think our goal is going to be to leave a lot of these things on the top of here, just for shade purposes. Um, but all these others taking them down and just kind of clearing out the midsection. And during a setting sun or something afternoon, this would be a nice shade spot if we leave these cedars on this west side over here to kind of shade everything in the afternoon. I am astounded how tall these trees, they are, they're over 100 feet tall. I, I, Boy Scout method with protractor and maybe measure these suckers out, but oh my gosh, these things are huge. Right, Jeff is over six feet tall. <sighs> and here we go. I just, it's like they just don't stop. They're so tall. Check out that pine tree. In the background, yeah. It's, it's like, oh so big God. up there. So, and even this guy over here, he's tall. He's not as tall, but he's tall. It's crazy. Yeah. We're wrapping it up here, and we've done a full walking. I think we've marked everything that we're supposed to be keeping. If not, I'll be here with a guy and I'm gonna run through things again with them. There's a few trees um, that are really big that do have to come out. Um, even some that I don't think we even showed you, but a big massive pine. 
Um, there's some that we're just not sure about. Like we said, we're not, we're not arborists and we're trying to just understand the best we can um, which ones are which and we're just trying to get rid of all sweet gums. I don't want pokeballs as we mentioned, but I'm going to talk to the guy and he probably knows more about trees than I do. Um, but yeah, so I think today was a good day. The stuff got insulated and we got it secured. We have tons of water. We're just wasting water now, but everything looks like it's going up pretty well. So timeline wise, if you're wondering, um, if this guy comes and mulches next week and it's probably going to take me three weeks, probably to do all the fencing after that, that's going to put us middle of January. I've got to get the water hooked up and some other things. Um, that could take another week to two weeks, especially. That puts us end of January, and he works his buffalo the beginning of February, typically. So what we're going to do is, once he works his buffalo, we're going to quarter him off, and then I'll take him at that time. So, uh, you know, I've just got to get it done by February, so that way we're not having to work them in succession a couple weeks apart. So that's the new timeline, but it's got to get done. So we're excited. Once we have the buffalo, it's going to be hard to go home, but... Uh, I guess we'll deal with that when it comes. So anyway, thanks for joining us. We'll catch you next week.